cold evening. Okay, time on. Match night five of the season. Ulster's unbeaten start to the campaign on the line here, a ground where they haven't won since 2014. Advantage. It's coming back slowly though. Matthewson wants it a good deal quicker than that. He wants to get this monster back line firing tonight. Kilcoyne. Tackled by young Angus Curtis. Interesting to see how he goes tonight at inside centre. The experience of Darren Cave outside him. And it's fallen to us and it's on the outside to Wooten. And he's away here. Alex Wooten on the offload is perfect. And Coggins in for the first try. Right on five minutes from the first real attack that they've had. And Munster are in for five points. And it's his second try in Munster colours for Jan Goggin. Just managed to keep a hold of it. And away goes Conway. He was electrifyingly good in Cork against the Ospreys. A couple of tries in the game in Cardiff as well. Picking up where he left off last season. Matthewson quickly there to the base of that rock and finding Carberry who once again elects to put boot to ball and they're mixing up the play really well the try score that time Dan Goggin popping up wide and into play scrum half was and they definitely Alex have numbers Munster. out here Connor. definitely numbers of Munster spread it on blind side Earls was calling for it and away goes Tommy O'Donnell and they're going to be in for a second try here we expected a little bit of a bounce back after the shambolic display in the second half of the Arms Park last Friday night against Cardiff, and we've got it in. Seem to strike that very, very well indeed. And he burned behind them. That takes an awful lot of of uh, headspace to be able to execute that with such precision and not give away a penalty. The same routine. Health advantage. It's Tommy O'Donnell. There's a penalty coming here. They're not going to need it. Tommy O'Donnell's in for his second try of the night. Munster had their third try. And it's that line out ball that does the damage. Try line. Monster come knocking for a bonus point try. Timoney and Kane combining to stop Tyg Burnt. But for how long is the question? CJ Standard now for Monster. Matthewson has a little snipe himself. Is to get in for a, a try on his debut? And on the secondary surge, that's good tackling from Ulster. Sandbagging their try line, there's no way through just yet. But now there's two or three Munster men there, and they're very close. Peter O'Mahony. That's short. And he's forced backwards. Again, they've massive numbers on the right if they want to go out. Archer moves it along to Holland. Matthewson, huge numbers now. It's a case of just moving it through the hands. And it's a second try for Dan Goggin. It's a fourth try for Munster. We haven't yet reached half time. It's to ride the tackle from O'Donnell and Holland. And still that Munster defensive line remains on breach. Taken on by O'Connor again. It could be an extra number out left for Ulster here. And they're through. And they have a foothold back into this game. Potentially through Darren Cave who scored the first try of the evening for Ulster and they've had to wait 46 minutes to get it and now they've got numbers wide it's over the top from Carberry, it's a beautiful pass and it's a great finish and it's the captain O'Mahony okay. and they worked that really well, they just sucked in the cover and then Carberry knew all the while he had the option out wide and O'Mahony kept the width and he scores the try Duncan Williams. Harbury to Goggin, and there's opportunity here potentially for Wooten. Throws one back inside, great hands. What a kick that is. Carberry into the 22. And Joey Carberry scores his first try at Coleman Park to add to the one he got down in court. And that was absolutely brilliant. Kieran Parker is. Uh, come in as part of those switches off the Munster bench 
Now options here, it's dink through for Goggin, all on the bounce here. Greg Gilroy is back there. Did that go backwards? Conway recycles and Wooten now tries to pick his way oh, through. Oh, come on. Heavy traffic. And Sammy Arnold thinks he's scored here. He deserved, for no other reason, he, he, put, <laughs> he put five, six metres over five, six metres. That's phenomenal aggressive play from Sammy Arnold. And a great steal he had about six, seven minutes ago as well. Does he keep holding the ball here? There's no issue in terms of a knock-on. He hasn't touched order. yet. That's the first time it touches there. It yeah. seems, seems he's in control of it as he touched it. Yeah, Dan, I have a decision. Yeah, go on. You can award the try. Thank you. That's so a little bit loose in the tight exchanges and Omani one-handed out to Earls. Now can he pick away through the traffic? Gets away from Shanahan, gets away from O'Toole as well, gets the pass away to Omani. Quickly from Sammy Arnold, now to Buta. It's your own player this whole name, not them. Now there's space over on that far side. Conway running into it. Gilroy back in field. That's a, a little bit risky looking for Kernahan. It's going to be monster ball either through the turnover or via the knock on. Scrum advantage, please. Look like Holland again. And they're getting through a lot of work now. Taken on by Cronin that time. Duncan Williams delayed the pass. Oh, that's brilliant. And it's Earls. And it's Earls from the line. That is magnificent. Williams all the way over the top oh it's a great pass and it's a great take and it is a nice try and that's a brilliant finish and he's deserved that tonight has Alex Woodson who have been brilliant at stealing matches in the 80th minute can't wait to hear the whistle here it's just a case of whether or not Munster will get a 10th try Ulster have turned it over and they just need to get it off the pitch now if they can they're no, doing no, no, their grounded. Yeah, that's it. On a comical end to an error strewn game from an Ulster point of view where they lost so many players before the game and during it to injury, but tonight it's all been about monster. They picked